Wickens. Whoa, Wickens. Whoa, Wickens. Whoa, Wickens. So we went and sorted out the Pokeball factory, mixing it up with Team Flare and kicking their ass once again in between episodes, as you saw just now, right in front of your beautiful eyes. We had a working and twerking grinding montage, which lasted over an hour of recording, which I cut down to about two minutes. So let's see what our party looks like. And believe me, the party is looking sexy. So first of all, we got our Cactor. Cactor is now level 50. Look at that moveset. Power up, punch, sucker, punch, grass, not Vino shock. Three... TM moves are on this guy now. Three TM moves on this guy, but it means he can absolutely hold his own. Power Up Punch, Sucker Punch, Grass Knot, and Vino Shock. It's a fantastically broad move set, especially because the attack is 132 and 134. Power Up Punch a couple of times, and this guy can absolutely sweep. He is fantastic. I love him. Thank you, Daniel, for breeding this beautiful bastard. Anyway, next up, we've got Dragonair from Terra, and now Dragonair's level 50, only 5. Five levels to go until we get ourselves a sweet Dragonite. So Dragon Rush, Extreme Speed, Dragon Dance, and Aqua Jet. Yes, we got a more powerful Dragon move, but the fucking move keeps missing. I don't know how many times it missed during that uh, working and twerking grinding session, but it was far more... It's far more than I ever wanted. Next up, guys, we've got Guard of War. She's now level 49. I gave her Dazzling Gleam and Thunderbolt um, as our two moves instead of Encore and... Magical Leaf, um, so she's got a fantastic stab move there, and uh, she got a little bit of coverage with Thunderbolt as well. Next up, we got Pupitar, level 46 now. Only nine levels to Tyranitar. Uh, I'm pretty sure Tyranitar's level 55. Anyway, same moveset as before. Next up, we got Lanoon. Lanoon came into the party because we needed somebody to learn strength, so he is getting levels up as he goes along. And Pony Art is level 33 now with Faint Attack, Metal Claw, Assurance, and Slash. Obviously, we're going to be putting back our two main members, Magnazone and Infernate, back into the party when we get through to the next place, but I'm pretty sure, pretty sure that um, when we come through here, there is a little bit of chatting going on. Hey, I hear future is secure if you join Team Flare. No, your future is so not secure if you join Team Flare. We don't want another repel on anyway. What's nice about windmills is that they can be removed in the breeze and, a, and in a pitch by people or Pokemon. 
Fantastic. Uh, that's great. Thank you very much for that interesting fact. I'm glad I wasted my time here. Brr, it's cold in here. It is so cold. Why hello, sugar tea? Oh, who is this? Ah, here we go. Here we go. Uh, oh, he's Welsh. Right. How have you been? Uh, how is your journey going? You see, when I was younger, I visited many different regions as well, if you catch my drift. Uh, your mother's region is the best I've ever visited. I met many kinds of Pokemon and noticed how each place had its own distinct flavors. So I really came to enjoy trying new foods as I traveled. Because of my adventures, I'm an expert on all the cafes over Kalos. Um... Um, right. Professor, come now, Dexio. I am going somewhere with this. Uh, do you remember the Pokemon Lysandre mentioned in that cafe? Uh, no, I don't, unfortunately. I suppose you wouldn't. What the fuck does that even mean, you... Why? Slagging me off here. It's important to forget things from time to time. Kalos is a legendary Pokemon. It's called Yvetal. According to material I've read, those who saw it are so overwhelmed by its power, they are were the only able to say that this Pokemon resembles the letter Y. Apparently, this Pokemon will absorb energy. Its lifespan is said to be 1,000 years. When it reaches the end of its life, it steals all the spirits around it. Uh, Right, um, oh, fucking hell, or where, wherever do you think a Pokemon that amazing could be now? When Kalos' legendary Pokemon loses all of its vitality, it goes to sleep in a secret place. I don't have a clue where it could be. The writings that mention it are also round up, round, around a thousand years old, so they aren't much help. Right, wouldn't it be absolutely astounding if you found the sugar tea? Maybe I'll look into the legend a little bit. If I find something, I'll let you know. <laughs> wouldn't it be a thrill if you found it indeed? But your journey is yours and your Pokemon's alone. I want you to enjoy yourself and do whatever you like. Actually, you don't want us to do whatever you like because you told us to go and get all of the, the Pokemon and the Pokedex, fill up all that shit anyway. You're basically using me as free labor. Um, is the professor already gone? I was hoping to, uh, uh to have a look at my Pokedex in person. Oh, oh, well, I can still get my Pokedex evaluated at the Pokemon Center's PC. Anyway, I'm heading off to look for the Pokemon in the Frost Cavern and fill up my Pokedex. Okay, so hard switching between the German accent and the French accent afterwards. I don't know what it is. Something about the the, 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 the way I do the accent in particular is a little bit tricky moving from one to another. So it probably wasn't as smooth. It wasn't as smooth as it could have been. It could have been. Anyway, let's quickly, we're going to go up to the Frost Cavern today. Hopefully complete as much of that as possible in the, the 20 to 25 minute slot that I have. If not, what we'll do is we'll finish it off in the next episode because uh, it's quite a lot. And I didn't want to do it all in a grinding montage because, I mean, that would have been like three hour, no, two hours worth of grinding montages for you to probably just skip through. I don't know if you actually sit through the working, working grinding montage, but it would have been far too much of the game to skip through in one point. Anyway, Mr. Bond is here. Hey, how's it going, friend? I'm Mr. Bond and the expert on all powers. Let me just stop you one moment. That, that dress, that hat, you look fabulous. Uh, let me ask you just in case, getting back on topic, do you need to hear an explanation about all powers? No, Mr. Bonin, I do not. Hey, that's my friend. Let's get started, shall we? It's Bonding time. You received an all power from Mr. Bonding. You can now use that accuracy power level one. Accuracy power increases the accuracy. So you, you, you can use the all powers from the PSS and the more you use them, the higher they level up. So use them as often as possible. Well, then, I do believe I shall take my leave right about now. Hope to see you around, cutie. Oh, I love Mr. Bond and I love him right in the bum hole and he loves me right in the bum hole. We have such a special relationship all in the bum hole. Okay, do we have, this is the name, uh, the, the, the move deleter. This is a crazy fisherman. This is a free item, a big root. And um, wow, I got rid of absorb, unfortunately, off of our cacton because that could have been quite nice. I think it boosts the, uh, the, 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 you, you take more HP from uh, moves, um, the, the, the absorption moves. Anyway, there's nothing down there. Let's go up. I'm just trying to remember if there's a clothes shop in here because we have a lot of money now. And I would like, to, oh, it's just such a, oh, there we go. There we go, guys. 
the thumbnail. The thumbnail for this episode right there. It's so beautiful. So beautiful. I'm going to come around and check all these houses out later on because there's no point in me going to speak to all these guys. I'll come down to get the items later on. I've gone the wrong way. Cycle up the stairs because I'm balling. And we'll make our way over here. Um, won't bother fighting these guys just yet. We'll come along here. This guy. Look at him in his fucking mama swing. Is something wrong in the frost cavern, Mama Swine? Swast, why? Hmm. What the hell is going on? Are you headed to the frost cavern, trainer? Yes, I actually am. This Mama Swine here usually can't get enough of be giving people rides on Route 17, but these days it seems to be too worried about something in the frost cavern to give rides. Mama Swine is a Pokemon that loves cold climates, so maybe it has sent something in this in the frost cavern. Um. And you are? <laughs> My name is Trevor. I'm researching the distribution of Pokemon at the Kalos region at Professor Sycamore's request. Uh, I see. So that's why you're walking clear out in the Frost Cavern then. Mama Swine seems concerned about something over there, so be careful, you little shit. Oh, I'm fearless. Thank you. What are you going to do, sweet chicks? I'm, prepare I'm going to prepare for my expedition. Thank you very much. S -s 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 Can I just catch that mama swine? Oh, there's a cheeky item down there. I'm going to have to come back for it later. Oh, fuck. I went in the old man's fucking line of sight. Stop right there, youngster. I'm going to paint your portrait. Don't budge a fucking inch. Well, that old man was pretty damn aggressive, if I ever say so myself. Is he pretty much just a fucking smear gold? Trace this, you shit. Um, paint that. Okay, Cactor is going to come in. Power up punch all the way. This Smeargle is going to go down, baby. Start to hail. That's not good for our Cactor, I'll tell you that. Oh, I just pressed grass, not by fucking mistake. And he's got Dazzling Gleam. Hello! Of all the moves he could have had! Of all the moves Smeargle could have had, it's a super effective move. And I went ahead and just... Oh, okay. Apparently Smeargle's a fat fuck. I didn't realize Smeargle was so heavy. One shot it. Of all the moves... Oh, oh, fuck, I've got the experience share on. Shit. Sorry, guys. At least it was only a smear girl. Didn't give us a, a great deal of experience. I should have checked that. I should have checked that. I was just in such a rush to get recorded the episode. You know where that happens. Anyway, let's go and uh, make sure we turn that off. Our levels are looking pretty good. Looking pretty even now. Um, I'm afraid we're going to actually have to start using... Actually, let's let's take Cacturna off at the front position. Let's uh, move you, your item anyway, over at Lucky Egg. And let's put Infernape in the front of the party. Because we don't want Cacturna leveling up too much. Because we kind of want him to use him for the next gym. And I think level 50 is probably already going to be quite uh, high up. Oh, that could be another thumb there. Look at the snow. Oh, brrr, it's cold. It's cold in here. Anyway, let's just get moving through here as quickly as possible. Obviously, we're going to fight the fucking train in the land. way. Mmm... Fight this trainer real quick, and then hopefully that's going to be fine. I'm just wondering if I should... I don't want to do another work at working grinding montage, not right in the middle of the episode, but at the same time, the, the Frost Cavern isn't the most exciting of places. What I'll probably do is skip a lot of the trainers, and I might save them for another work at working grinding session at the end of this... Maybe at the end of this episode, just to get our Pokemon up a, a little bit further leveled. I'll skip as many of them as possible, so we can just get straight through and uh, get the event that's at the end of the cave. And hopefully what I'll do at the end of the episode is come back and battle the ones that we missed before so we can get the juicy experience while we can because, I mean, come on, you want the experience, you want to mm, look at all that experience. 3,000 ops to 4,000 experience? Hello, we're not going to be wasting any of that. Even especially get some pretty girls like the one in front of us. So, yes, we just need to get going because we still need to... Uh, we still need to find ourselves an encounter for this place. And here we go. Here's the first encounter that we can get. And uh, if not this episode, definitely in the next episode, we'll go ahead and we'll do some uh, sweet, sweet training. But, 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 um, I think we should be able to survive one ground attack from this guy. So we'll just go straight for the Ultra Ball. Hopefully Pillow Swine doesn't go for a ground move. I don't think he should have Earthquake. I don't want him to start Earthquake. Quick and ask, stay in the ball, stay in the ball, stay in the ball, stay in the ball, sweet motherfucking, stay in the ball. <laughs> Thank you very much, Pillow Swine. You can come and join the party, and we're gonna to want to treat your sweet ass out with that, your sweet, beautiful, tusky ass. I will, honestly, I would love to snuggle up against a Pillow Swine. They look comfortable as shit. Let's see what the Pokedex entry has to say about it. Because of the long hair cut all over his body, obscures his sight. It just keeps charging repeatedly. Okay, fine. You dirty fucker. I'll charge all over your face, you shit. Right, okay, let's go and uh, pop on a couple of repels. Where are we? We need some super repels because we don't want to be... Ah, oh, this is the wrong place. There we are. 
already have them ready from before. So if I remember correctly, what we want to be doing is coming up this way. I can't remember. I can't remember, to be honest. There's nothing there. Ah, means we're going to have to fight this guy along here, this psychic. Is he a psychic? I think he is. So let's not have Infernape in first. Psychic. So we're going to go down to our beautiful cactern. And we'll be able to just uh, sucker punch the shit out of them. But he knows to know it matters not, and the ace trainer does not let anything get in his way. An ace trainer is always elegant in whatever he does. That is what it means to be an ace. I'm going to take this guy out. Look at him. Smug Neil. Right, you! I thought he was a psychic trainer. He's not a psychic trainer at all. Cactoon's gonna kick more than shit out of this uh, this Raichu though. We're just gonna power a punch and boost our boost our attack to exponential levels, and we're gonna show that that twerk chew. Look at him shaking his butt. Look at him shaking his butt. We're gonna show this twerk chew who is the boss, and that is us. Oh look, that's not even stab. Oh, it was a crit hit though, I suppose. We're gonna get another one of them off, and then we're gonna sweep the rest of his team absolutely perfectly with their. <laughs> Probably with Sucker Punch, although um, he does keep using the bloody Tail Whip on us. Doesn't matter though. Doesn't matter. Anyway, guys, let's move on to today's question of the day, which is always is contributed by your beautiful faces. So today's question of the day is by Grizzly Gibble again. Grizzly Gibble had one a couple of episodes ago, but this guy is just coming in with fantastic questions. Anyway, thank you very much, Grizz. Do you believe there was ever a Pokemon War? Do you believe there was ever a Pokemon War? I thought that was a really interesting question because this is kind of alluded to a couple of times. Now, I mean, uh, where are we? Where are we? Where are we? In this game, it kind of looked like there was some sort of Pokemon War at some point. Oh, no! Shit! That took off far too much. Marowak, die, you son of a bitch. Oh, wow, 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 wow. In this game, it actually kind of alludes, get back on topic, kind of alludes to the fact that maybe, 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 maybe at some point there could have been some sort of, um, of some sort of war with, uh, I think there was Flotet and all of that. And what movie was it? One of the Pokemon movies was there not two sides. What Pokemon film was it? Now, I'll, I'll have a little think while I'm uh, healing up. We need uh, some sweet, sweet hyper potions on our character because we almost lost our character in there. Holy shit. Um, what was it? What was it? What film was it? I'm, it's, it's like on the tip of my tongue. It's on the, the Lucario one. Lucario one. That was the one. The Lucario film. Was there not some kind of... Uh, da -da 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 -da. Was there not some kind of war in the Lucario film? And... What was it? Lucario and the Mystery of Mew? Is that a film? I think there was some kind of war in the Lucario and the Mystery of Mew. And Lucario and his master went to battle or something like that. There was some kind of that. So I do believe there was a Pokemon war. It not necessarily um, comes out and says it factually as much in the games, unless I'm forgetting something. But um, yes, I definitely think there was a Pokemon war. I mean... Even if it was just Pokemon against Pokemon, but you know what people are like. People will um, go ahead and they will abuse Pokemon and they'll force Pokemon to battle if, if, if that's what they feel is, is going to get them what they want. And I always believe that it's, it's the same with weapons nowadays. And if we had Pokemon in real life, I reckon there would be wars. There would there'd totally be wars. And uh, I, I believe it would be pretty destructive if there was Pokemon. I mean, look how destructive we are with weapons nowadays anyway. I mean, we've, we, we've created all these powerful ass weapons that just absolutely wreck house. And it's uh, it's, 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 it's crazy, to be honest. It's, it's a, a little bit crazy um, that they, that we have all this power. And I don't know. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing, to be honest here. <laughs> Where are we? Is this it? I don't think this is it. I'm going to go back to the fucking start, aren't I? How the fuck do you do this puzzle again? Okay. It's really easy. I'm sure it's really easy, this puzzle. So why am I having trouble with it? This way. This way. You come down here. I'm sure you come down here. You come up. This is it. This is it here, right? You don't bother looking at me. I, I need this Pokeball. Thank you. An ice seal that would come in handy in the, the ice cavern anyway. Just in case we get a little bit of an ice burn. Have you ever had a freezer burn? Holy shit, those things are fucking sore. Pardon my French. But those things are sore. Oh, you son of a bitch! Damn it. Okay, come on, Grumpig and Hariyama. Um, oh, no, 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 not Grumpig. Not Grumpig. We've got, what's his name in front now? Who's in second position? I think it's Dragonair, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it is Dragonair. Infernape and Dragonair. Infernape will get absolutely one shot by that Grumpig. 
absolutely one shot. So we're going to have to go and take out the Grump Pig ASAP. So we'll go for the Blaze Kick on the Grump Pig and we'll go for Extreme Speed on the Grump Pig as well. Because I'm not risking Dragon Rush. No way am I risking that. Because we could end up missing it. Take off at least half. Okay, okay. Blaze Kick. Finish it off. Finish it off. Finish it off. Finish it off. Please finish it off. <gasps> oh, it looked like it may have only just died. But at least we got rid of the main threat there. At least we got rid of the main threat. That's absolutely fantastic. I was not wanting our bloody uh, Infernape to go down there. I was not wanting that. Ooh, baby. Infernape needs to catch up with the rest of the Belly Drum. Steady on, mate. Steady on. I don't think he can... He's not going to outspeed us, so we should be able to finish it off here really, really quite easily. So let's go for the... Uh, let's just go for the close combat on the Hariyama. And then let's go for the Aqua Jet on the Hariyama as well. That should finish it off no problem at all. Uh, I don't think Aqua Jet will finish it off, but definitely the, uh, the, the close combat will kill off Hariyama. Surely, 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 surely. There we go. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Goodbye, Hariyama! So, let me know in the comment section below what you think of a Pokemon War. I, 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 I think, um... I would love to see a full-length feature film of a Pokemon War. I don't think they will do that, because... It's just not something they would do. I mean, kind of, Mewtwo kind of alluded that he was going to do that when he had all these clones. He was going to come and destroy all the real Pokemon and stuff, but I don't know... <sighs> I don't know. He obviously didn't go there because Ash changed his mind and all of that shit as well. But I reckon, I reckon it would be, I just think it would be really interesting to see a, a, a full-length film. No, 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 don't let that bitch turn around. Oh, son of a bitch, what am I supposed to do here? I keep doing this. I've got to come around this way. And then come around this side. And then I'm going to come across here. And then I'm going to come down here. Fantastic. I could go up here and get this item. So, oh, son of a bitch. Come up here, get that item. Come across here, get that item. Good, very nice. Max Repel. Lovely. Lovely, lovely Max Repel. That's good. Okay, so let's come across here, come down here, come there, and then fantastic. Let's go down here real quick. I want to dodge as many of these trainers as possible. This bitch heals us, does she not? Come, give me your sweet healing, my friend. Give me your sweet, sweet healing. I want it. I want it straight to my face. Thank you. Um, can we skip this guy? Skip him, skip him, skip him. Oh, that, look at that MVP. Absolute pro. Should, I think we should be up at the, the Obama Snow event now. I think, I think. Oh, oh, oh no, no, this fucker. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh no, where am I going? No, oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> Come to get this item, if I remember correctly, it's actually a butt item as well. Ether. Actually, that's all right. That'll do us when we get to the Elite Four. Um, especially because we've got so many moves that are really quite booty on the, uh, what you call it, front. Want to skate diagonally here if we can. Thank you. Let's avoid the son of a bitch. Excellent work. Absolute pro. And here we go. What? Oh, there we go. With Trevor. It's really cold in here, isn't it, sweet cheeks? Is there something going on up ahead? Open your eyes and you will have a look. Look at this girl. This abominable snow is a fine specimen. It's absolutely brimming with energy. The more we are agitated, the stronger the snow warning ability becomes, making the snow fall even more furiously. Let's catch it swiftly and get out of here. Snow, mother Hey! Hey, you shits! Hey, you Pokeball thieves! What are you doing here? Oh, damn. What does it look like? We're catching Pokemon. Why else would we have grabbed all those Pokeballs? It was all so we could catch a powerful Pokemon like this Abomber Snow. It's full of potent energy! Energy? You are not the brightest one, are you? Whoever has the most Pokemon and the most energy will come out on top. Lazy people who just wait for things to be handed to them don't have... To, uh, uh, handed to them don't get to have these resources. But why is Team Flair amassing Pokemon energy and money? To put it another way, why is Team Flair always trying to take everything for itself? Allow me to spell it out for you. It's so Team Flair and only Team Flair can survive. After all, why should we care about the saving people who aren't on our side? Anyway, I don't mind the healthy curiosity, but I'm afraid I just don't have any more time for you. Sveichix, did they say only Team Flair will survive? These people have a few screws loose. Hurry up, you two, and send these kids packing! Okay, let's... Yes, ma'am, right away! Let's go, Team Flair! This is a trademark pose of Team Flair. It's the very definition of fashionable. Mmm... I wouldn't say it's the very definition of fashionable. I'd say it's the very definition of douchebaggery. But hey, we're gonna destroy you. Gold bat, eh? That's not good. That is not good for our Infernape. Not good at all. So... Um, I'm not even going to risk it because he's very, very close to our level. So he's probably going to go for a wing attack. Who's going to eat up a wing attack? Said, who's going to eat up a wing attack? 
Um, Magnuson should be able to eat up a wing attack, no problem at all. So Infernape, switch out. Thank you very much for doing your, your part. Basically coming in there and warming us all up with your sweet, sweet fire hair. I'm going to be sending in Magnuson. Poison Fang ain't going to do shit all. Thank you very much. And we're just going to go straight for... Damn it! I still haven't taught him fucking uh, Thunderbolt. Because he wasn't in the party when I was doing all of that. So we need to make sure we give him Thunderbolt, damn it. Electro Ball might one-shot it, but Thunderbolt definitely would have. Because that's 90 power compared to this. <gasps> it's alright, we one-shot it anyway. Thank you very much. Oh, crit hit. Thank you very much. RNG gods are on our side just now. So thank you very much. Uh, Magnazone, a beautiful, beautiful experience once there. And Infernate. Oh, we're level 46. We'll take that. We'll take that right in the bum hole. Magnazone, you're the lowest level now. Going from the highest to the lowest. Shows you how much of working it's working grinding montage. If you leave one party Pokemon out, then... You could be fucked. Now, will this Manectric have Flamethrower? I don't know. It's going to go for a bite. That's going to do sweet through call on us, hopefully, as long as we don't flinch. Damn it. Go on, Magnezone. We need you to pull through here. We want you to have all the juicy experience. If <laughs> Excuse me. If this was a competitive uh, Manectric, I would have switched out because it would definitely have a uh, Flamethrower on it. <coughs> Excuse me. Don't mind me. Uh, did we miss? Did we flinch again? Oh, come on, Magnezone. Stop flinching. And we really need you to hit this flash cannon. Are we outsped for some reason this time? I have no idea why. But there we go. And it didn't even one shot. Not very effective. Crit hit. I'm loving the crit hit. Special defense fell. Roar. That's why. Roaring something good. Roaring something good. What are you bringing in? 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 Guard of War is going to outspeed and kick your ass. You should have stayed with Magnezone. Um, let's just go straight for the, the, the Psychic and finish this guy off, no problems at all. And was that the last other Pokemon? I can't remember now. Either way, I really could have done with Magnezone getting all of the experience, but we'll take it. We'll take it. Come what may. Level 50, Gardevoir, not bad. We really need to get the Gardevoir out onto her. Um, so she can become that, that mega Gardevoir. Magnezone grew to level 46. I would love to see Magnezone get a, uh, get mega, mega evolution as well. But the Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire demo is coming so close! I can feel it. I can feel it down in my penis. That it should be amazing. I may have lost. I may have lost. But it isn't it winter one. But isn't this winter one of land beautiful? Almost as beautiful as the Team Flare pose. Actually, it is pretty beautiful. But um, your your Team Flare pose is absolutely booty. <clears throat> You're more powerful than you look. I wonder how much energy there is inside you. <laughs> Oh, I can go all night long, all night, Mabel, oh, all night, I can go all night long, all night, all night, oh, your hound doom is going down to a close combat, your hound doom, even though it's higher than me, is going to go down to a close combat, I said going down, you're going down to a close combat, I'm going to one shot, yeah, we're on the level, but I'm still going to one shot, because we've got the type advantage, and you're getting your ass kicked, Nice, Infernape, absolutely destroying. Look at that beautiful, beautiful hair just wisping away in the wind. It's absolutely amazing. Strong, just too strong. Oh, you know it, baby. I am over 9,000 levels strong. Harumph! I have no patience for losing. Let's get out of here. Oh, Abomina Snow. Come here, sweet Abomina Snow. Doesn't battling with Team Flair scare you, sweet cheeks? Nah, motherfucker. I'm trained. I'm ready for this shit. Look at me. I'm dressed for success. Have you seen any other guys around here trying to stop Team Flare? No, 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 it's up to me and me alone. Is it a sad journey and a lonely journey? Yes. But is it worthwhile to save the universe, the world, and all the Pokemon that we call dear friends? Yes. You beat your sweet ass Trevor. That is worth it. Don't be scared, man. Come here. No sexual hugs. No, 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 no. You're too young for that. Just loving hugs. I'll admit it scares me. Shh, shh don't worry, Trevor. I, I don't like battling them, but we managed to protect the bottom snow by pitching in here. I know I'm the reserve type, and I'm okay with that. But it's important to be bold when necessary. Mama Swine doesn't have to worry about a bottom snow no more, and that's what matters. All's well that ends well. Go home and cry. Abomina Snow! Chief Abomina Snow! Razbowski and Sugar T reporting for duty. Snow! Looks like... What? Abomina Snow wants to give us something! 
Uh, bomber side, thank you very much for that. If we had a snowfer, that would be so sexy, but we don't. So uh, we're just gonna we're just gonna leave it here. We're gonna end off the episode there. Me and above the snow gonna get nice and cozy. His snow warning is my horn warning, and we're gonna just uh, snuggle in close with each other. If you enjoyed today's episode, please hit that like button. Let's keep seeing if we can get the like. The lights go through the roof. The raspberries have been absolutely fantastic in this series, and I've absolutely loved recording each episode. I just come on, you see me. I'm just so excited. The, the only reason I maintain the energy levels that I do during these recordings is because I love doing it, and I love it. Uh performing and and doing all of the the voices and doing the content for you guys and i know you enjoy it so hit that like button if you did enjoy it and remember to answer the question of the day down in the comment section below thank you very much to grizz again grizzly gibble for the the question it was absolutely fantastic but either way guys i've been rasbowski you've been the beautiful bastards as always for watching and i love each and every single one of you goodbye